The SABC can exclusively report there are dozens of bogus primary schools in the backyards of homes in Ivory Park on Gauteng's Easter End, and none of the schools are registered with the Gauteng Department of Education. Zimbabwean nationals comprise most of the teachers at these schools. Matlaku Komani and Mike Lengani visited some of these schools and sent this report. A normal township home, yet in the rooms behind it, school is in full session. From grade R to grade 7, all in one yard. It's billed as a private school and parents here fork up to 500 rand per month. Upon further inquiries, it was discovered the Afrikaans teacher failed matric. When confronted, the principal initially claimed to be an ordinary employee. We are, not like, we, are, we are also not like taking teachers from the street. People are qualified. We spoke to your Africans teacher. Mm. He told us it doesn't have a He's just, Africans. yeah, the Africans, the whole Africans teacher tells us he doesn't even have matric. He's helping us. He's just what? helping us. Helping he's with Africa. He's, he's not qualified to be teaching children Africans. What does he know? Ma'am, are you not taking residence here for a right? Do parents actually know this joint is not legal? One of the teachers says her qualifications are still being registered. I did a foundation phase, diploma in education, Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe? Yes. Has it been, can you teach in South Africa? Are you allowed to teach in South Africa? Do you have your qualifications been... Are you registered, are you registered with, with the South African... Yeah, my papers are being processed right now. But do they know that you are teaching? Uh, for now, they don't. Just a few steps down the road, this structure hosts a charismatic church on Sundays. But from Monday to Friday, it functions as a school, from grade R to grade 8, all under one roof. While these teachers claim to educate, they remain clueless about registering with the Gauteng Education Department. Um, unfortunately, I can't say anything. But you guys are teaching children here. Who has employed you? Where's the principal? He was here earlier on. You guys are leaving children here unattended and you are, you are supposedly learning a school. Who guy principal? The playground in this school is awash with live wire lines and flowing sewage. These two pit latrines used by the entire school. That's the school. This is not a school. It's a project. If you notice, most learners don't have birth certificate. They are foreigners. Behind the church hall, another school. Do you own the school? Yes. Is the school yours? Yeah. Are you registered with the Department of Education? Can you help us with the registration number, please? We're registered only with the Department of Social Development. Mm -hmm. And then we are busy with the Department of Social Education. Yesterday was there. The education department has distanced itself from these schools, saying that it has rigorous requirements for opening a school. We need to go through your finances and check whether you comply. You can run a school. We must also check on the health, fire, and safety requirements because the municipality must, you know, grant you with that information. Your infrastructure should be the same as the public ordinary school. While the department has confirmed that these schools are not registered, many of these pupils will be back in class tomorrow. Matlako Koman, SABC News, Johannesburg.